Thanks for joining this how-to video brought to you by Salesforce Support. In this video, we'll learn how to integrate voice connectors with Einstein Conversation Insights. If your sales or service teams use Dialpad, RingCentral, AirCall, or Amazon Connect, you can connect their customer conversations with Einstein Conversation Insights to get transcripts, valuable insights, next steps, and more ECI features. Before we start the ECI setup, we first need to prepare to set up voice connectors. To integrate your recording provider, we need to perform a few setup steps in your org. These should be completed by a Salesforce admin with appropriate permissions. We strongly recommend employing a separate user to complete the integrations between ECI and your voice provider. You can create a user with Salesforce admin permissions dedicated to this purpose in advance, and then log in as this user for the configuration tasks. First, we need to install the Voice Connector app from AppExchange. Go to appexchange.salesforce.com. Search for and download the Voice Connectors for Einstein Conversation Insights package. Click Install in Production. Select Install for all users. Install the package. You'll receive an email from Salesforce confirming that the package was installed. Now it's time to launch the Voice Connector app. From the app launcher, enter Voice Connector in the search box and then select Voice Connector. Select the voice provider you want to connect. Agree to the terms and conditions. Next, let's configure the Voice Connector. We have configuration guides for each of the supported voice providers linked in our video description. Here we'll be using RingCentral. The first thing to do is create the RingCentral app from the RingCentral developer page. Next, switch back to Salesforce and log in as the same admin user. Let's call the user, John, who we've chosen to be a unique user to complete the configuration and the integration between Voice Connector and Einstein Conversation Insights. In other words, John will also be our integration user. We need to make sure John has the API enabled and access to the voice call object and ECI permission sets. Now we're all set to complete the configuration task. Let's add RingCentral as an authorized provider. From Setup, enter Auth in the Quick Find box, and then select Auth Providers. Click New. Select Open ID Connect for the provider type. Complete these fields with the specified information. For the name field, enter ring central. The URL suffix must be ring underscore central. It gets auto-populated once you click on the field. Enter the consumer key. This is the client ID copied from the ring central app dashboard. Add the consumer secret. This is the client secret copied from the ring central app dashboard. These keys were generated in the previous step when we created the Ring Central app from the Ring Central developer page. Since we're implementing this in production, enter the authorize endpoint URL, token endpoint URL, and user info endpoint URL, as mentioned in the guide for production. Enter read call recording in the default scopes field. Make sure to deselect the send access token in the header field. Then select the checkboxes for send client credentials in header and include the consumer secret in the SOAP API responses. Click Save. Copy the generated callback URL under Salesforce configuration. In the RingCentral app, on the RingCentral developers page, go to Settings. Replace the dummy URL with the callback URL in the OAuth redirect URL, and click Update. Next, add RingCentral named credentials. From Setup, enter named credentials in the Quick Find box and then select it. Click the dropdown next to New and select New Legacy. Complete these fields with the specified information. Set the label to Ring Central and the name field to Ring underscore Central. Enter the Ring Central URL for production as mentioned in the guide. Choose Name Principle for Identity Type. Authentication Protocol OAuth 2.0. Add RingCentral as the authentication provider. Enter read call recording in the scope field. 
Make sure to select Start Authentication Flow on Save and Generate Authorization Header. Click Save. After saving, we see a login and an authorization page. Follow the process to validate the RingCentral account and click Authorize. Then confirm the external access. Return to the Name Credentials page and verify that the authentication status now reads Authenticated. To call the Einstein Conversation Insights ECI web service, we'll need to create a connected app. If you've configured another voice connector, skip the remaining configuration tasks. They have already been completed. From Setup, enter App Manager in the Quick Find box, and then select App Manager. Click New Connected App. Click Create a Connected App, and then click Continue. Complete these fields in the Basic Information section. The connected app name is ECI Connected App. The API name is ECI underscore connected underscore app. It also gets auto-populated once you click on the field. Be sure to use this exact name. Contact email. This is the email address you want to use. Select Enable OAuth Settings and complete these fields. Enter the dummy URL in the callback URL field for now. Note that the actual URL is obtained after you create the auth provider in the next section. In the selected OAuth scopes for the multi-select field, choose Access Content Resources. Manage user data via APIs. Manage user data via web browsers. And perform requests at any time. Make sure Require Secret for Web Server Flow and Require Secret for Refresh Token Flow are both selected. Click Save, and then Continue. Changes can take up to 10 minutes to take effect. Remember, deleting a parent org deletes all connected apps with OAuth settings enabled. After the ECI Connected app is created, return to the App Manager page. Click the drop-down in the ECI Connected App row, and then click Manage. Click Edit Policies. Complete these fields. Set permitted users to admin approved users are pre-authorized. Set IP relaxation to relax IP restrictions. For the Refresh Token policy, select Expire Refresh Token after 365 days. It's not necessary to select High Assurance Session Required, even though the checkbox is marked as required. Click Save. Return to the App Manager page. Click the drop-down in the ECI Connected App row, and then click View. From the Manage Connected Apps page, click Manage. From the ECI Connected App Setup page, click Manage Profiles in the Profile section. Select the profiles you want to give access to. We recommend selecting Standard User, System Administrator, and any other profiles that use the connected app. Click Save. From the App Manager page, select the drop-down in the ECI Connected App row, and then click View. Click Manage Consumer Details to see the consumer key and the consumer secret. A new window opens. Enter the verification code sent to your email. The consumer key and consumer secret values are shown. Keep this window open because these values are required to create the auth provider for the ECI Connected app. Now let's add ECI as an authorized provider. From Setup, Enter Auth in the Quick Find box and select Auth Providers. Click New. Choose Salesforce as the provider type. Complete these fields with the specified information. Name, ECI Auth Provider, the URL suffix, 
ECI underscore, auth underscore, provider. Be sure to use this exact name. Add the consumer key and customer secret from the previous task here. Click Save. Now you can see the callback URL. Copy the callback URL and replace the dummy one in the ECI Connected app. Head back to App Manager. From the App Manager page, go to the ECI Connected app. Click Edit and replace the dummy callback URL value with the copied one. Click Save, then Continue. Changes can take up to 10 minutes to take effect. Next, we'll set up the Salesforce site. If a site isn't created, set up an active Salesforce site. From Setup, enter Sites in the Quick Find box, and then select Sites. Select the Terms of Use checkbox, and then select Register My Salesforce Site Domain. Click New, or if you are already registered, click New from the Sites page in Setup. Complete these fields with the specified information. Site label and site name should both be Voice Connector. Set the admin user as site contact as well as the default record owner. In our case, it's the same admin user, John Snow. Now mark the site as active and set the active site homepage to site login. For ClickJack protection level, it's recommended to choose Allow Framing by the Same Origin Only. Leave the other options as default, and then click Save. From here, let's add ECI name credentials. From Setup, enter named credentials in the Quick Find box, and then select it. Click the drop-down next to New, and select New Legacy. Complete these fields. Set the label as ECI named credential, and the name as ECI underscore, named underscore, credential. For the URL, use your actual domain found in the My Domain Details section of the Setup My Domain page. Identity type should be named principal. The authentication protocol, OAuth 2.0, and the authentication provider is ECI Auth provider. Enter refresh underscore token web API content in the scope field. Keep start authentication flow on save and generate authorization header selected. Click save. Here we see a login page. Follow the process to validate the account. And then click confirm. Return to the Name Credentials page and verify that the authentication status now reads Authenticated with the name of your integration user that has admin permissions. Following the credentials, we'll assign the guest user permission set. We can assign the guest user permission set from Setup. From the search box at the top of Setup, enter Guest and select Voice Connector Site Guest User. Make sure this user is marked active. Click Permission Set Assignments. Then click Edit Assignments. Let's add the Voice Connector permission. And Conversation Insights Integration User. Click Save. Now it's time to enable Voice Connector integration. From the App Launcher, enter Voice in the search box, and then select Voice Connector. Make sure both name credentials are set to On. Make sure that our admin user, John Snow, has the ECI integration user permission sets assigned. 
Next, set enable Ring Central integration to active. Next, let's give it a final touch. From setup, enter Einstein Conversation Insights in the Quick Find box. When it shows up, select General Settings below. Make sure you have Turn on Conversation Insights enabled, and turn on the voice recording provider you just set up. If you'd like to enable variable phone number support for ECI voice connectors, reference the guidelines for starting to use voice connectors on help.salesforce.com. Before your sales and service teams start recording calls using Einstein Conversation Insights, we recommend testing a call to make sure everything is set up correctly. To learn more, check out our other videos. You can also search for topics in Salesforce Help or come join us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.